Hi everyone, I'm Chita Desai. Welcome back to AV Automation Hub. I'm going to launch a new Cypress and K6 Lite training batch and it will be starting from second week of March. In this, you will learn about UI automation, API automation and load test. The course duration will be around two and a half to three months and it will be online training. The timing would be 8 a.m. IST or 9.30 p.m. EST. It will be three days a week training. If you're someone who is planning to move to automation and want to learn these tools, then this is the best opportunity for you because here you'll not learn only UI and API, but you will also learn about load testing. So this is the best time for you to upgrade your skills and learn this program. In this course, we will do hands-on training with the real world projects, how it is handled in any organization with the industry standard best practices. We will also learn about CACD integration, framework development, so the prerequisite is you need to have basic understanding of HTML and a good laptop. For this course, we are going to start with the JavaScript fundamentals, which will take initially two weeks because we are going to use JS for both K6 and Cypress. So that's why knowing the fundamental is very important. We'll start with the basic like setup, how to set up node, how to install, edit, what is data type, what is variable, what is function, what is promises. So all this we are going to cover in the first two weeks. So Later on, you can use this in the framework development. Then later three weeks would be, we will learn the Cypress core concept, like what is Cypress? What is the architecture of Cypress? It will be with the latest version of Cypress, which is Cypress version 14. We will learn how to install Cypress, how to write your first test case. So after you are confident with this one, we will move to the core features, like what is what are different Cypress commands? What is assertions? handling the different UI elements, if you want to perform some actions on the page, like selecting the value from the dropdown, selecting the checkbox, radio buttons. We'll also learn how we can perform mocking or intercepting API requests in Cypress. Then we'll also learn about the CSS locators, how we can select any element. If you want to select the parent element of a locator, how we can do that using the Cypress inbuilt command. This is going to be an interesting section. We will learn how to do all this not theoretical, but with the real demo, with the real examples. So after the core features, we will move to some advanced topic, like what is API testing, how to do API testing in Cypress. Like I said, it's not only UI, it's not only API, but we are taking the whole bundle in this live training. So API testing, cross-browser testing, how we can run the test with the dynamic data. Let's say if you have to fill a form in real-time project, what happens? You have to test your application with for multiple users. So we will test that also, how to generate random data, how to handle authentication, file upload, iframes. These are some advanced topics which we are going to cover. So after we are confident with the core features and this advanced topic, we will move to the framework development. We are not directly moving to the framework development because we want to understand the basic core features of Cypress and so that we can use them in the framework development. In the framework development, we will be using a real-time live project in which we will start with the understanding about the project structure, how we are going to design the project. And then we'll start with a page objects model. We will learn about custom commands, how we can create reusable functions. Because if you are moving to automation, then you also have to learn about the best practices, how we can create reusable functions, right? We are also going to cover BDD. And for that, we'll be using Cucumber, which is one of the most famous tools. We'll also learn a reporting part using Mocker Awesome and Cucumber HTML report. We will see how we can take screenshots, how we can take videos, fine. And after that, we'll learn about Git. So detailed process, how you work in any organization where you raise a PR, then your PR gets reviewed by the team and then it is merged to the master. So whole process, I'll tell you in the framework development section, because like I said, this is an advanced training specially designed, designed for you to understand how the things work in real time, any organization. We'll also learn about parallel execution, CI, CD, uploading the reports to AWS S3 bucket. We will learn some basic concepts about AWS as well. And for the cloud execution, we will be using Cypress Cloud. So after we are done with the Cypress framework development, we will move to the K6 load testing. This is one of the leading tools in the market today. It is powered by Grafana. So Grafana is a big umbrella and K6 is one of the product of Grafana. So we'll start with the K6 fundamentals. Then we'll move to the K6 installation and setup. What are the virtual users? What is throughput time? What is threshold? Because these are the terms which you should know when you are doing load testing. And in this, 
We are going to perform browser testing using K6. We are going to perform ABI load testing using K6. So after we are done with the fundamentals, we will move to advanced K6 topic, how to do execution on the cloud, what are the custom metrics, how we can perform result analysis, and how to integrate it with your CI-CD. So this is a complete bundle of UI, API, and load testing. These are the course deliverables. In this course, you will get source code, framework template, best practice guide, interview question, recorded session, and certificate of completion. And here are the tools and technologies. So if you're planning to learn this and you don't know from where to start, then this live training is the best opportunity for you. So if you want to take the course, so what you have to do, you have to fill this Google form. In this, you have to fill the basic details about your email address, phone number, and all the other details. Once you submit the registration form, they will send you the details on either email or WhatsApp about the next step. So if you're planning to learn automation and you don't know from where to start, then this is a good opportunity. Go for it before the slots are finished. And thank you for watching.